Whenever the topic of electric vehicles pops up, one name just has to show up, and we all know what that is. It's the one and only Elon Musk. Other than EVs, this billionaire is also known for his space exploration company, SpaceX, which is soaring right now, performance-wise. But one other subsidiary of Elon Musk's, which is not that much talked about, is his internet service company, Starlink. Even if it's not much news now, just to let you all know that Elon Musk has a satellite internet providing company called Starlink, which has one goal, providing high-speed, low-latency internet throughout the globe. And now there's the news that he will be providing free internet. Let's all take a look at that today. Before we jump into Starlink being free, let's first set the same base knowledge about Starlink so that we are all on the same page about this next level internet providing service from Elon Musk. Technically a division within SpaceX, Starlink is also the name of the spaceflight company's growing network or constellation of orbital satellites. The development of that network began in 2015, with the first prototype satellites launched into orbit in 2018. After years of development within SpaceX and securing nearly $888.5 million in grant funds from the Federal Communications Commission, at the end of 2020, Starlink picked up the pace in 2021. In January, after three years worth of successful launches, the project surpassed 1,000 satellites delivered into orbit, and by June, SpaceX said the number was roughly 1,800. In February, Musk's company disclosed that Starlink was serving more than 10,000 customers. Now, after expanding pre-orders to even more potential customers, and exploring the possibility of providing in-flight Wi-Fi for passenger aircraft, Musk says that Starlink has shipped more than 100,000 satellite internet terminals to customers in 14 countries. Starlink is designed to improve internet speeds by sending thousands of small satellites into orbit, where they form constellations of flying routers that beam connectivity back to Earth. Current telecom satellites are stationed around 22,000 miles above the Earth's surface. Also being geostationary satellites, one satellite always services the same area of the planet, above which it hovers. But the Starlink satellites are built within the low Earth orbit, a mere 300 miles above the planet. At this altitude, satellites move much more quickly, completing a single orbit within just 90 to 120 minutes. This mobility allows multiple satellites to service various areas down on Earth at any given time. So, the low orbit satellites and higher density of satellites will result in better internet availability, even in those rural areas, which is the initial plan of SpaceX. SpaceX, by bringing their satellites a lot closer to the Earth, will help bring down latency, and these rely on lasers to offer higher speeds. Starlink is the only satellite network offering internet through low Earth orbiting satellites. This unique feature with the presence of such a massive quantity will result in service quality and reliability unheard of in standard satellite internet. Low Earth orbit satellites will also transmit data much more quickly. The satellite services are more likely vulnerable to weather, the connectivity and performance drop with the weather turning bad. But Starlink reports excellent connectivity despite terrible weather. The Starlink satellite can transmit information to one another as they pass by. This greatly reduces the chances of a service outage. Starlink internet so far is demonstrating that it can reliably serve internet no matter how much rain may fall. SpaceX said it expected Starlink to reach global serviceability sometime in autumn 2021, though regional availability will depend on regulatory approval. Elon also said that Starlink would be available worldwide except at the North and South Poles starting in August. In September, Musk tweeted that Starlink would exit its initial beta phase in October, which indicates that the service is continuing to ramp up and expand, though the budding broadband provider faces a backlog of prospective customers waiting to receive equipment and start service. Setting up Starlink is really rather easy. Because of that relatively short distance, SpaceX claims the latency should be relatively low. Users can expect to see data speeds vary from 50 to 100 megabits per second and latency from 20 to 40 milliseconds in most locations over the next several months, Starlink's website says, while also warning of brief periods of no connectivity at all. That should be fast enough for most internet tasks, including gaming. SpaceX has yet to confirm what upload speeds will be, 
By comparison, the current HughesNet satellite internet service offers download speeds of up to 25 megabits per second. However, its latency speeds are much slower, at around 600 milliseconds. As we launch more satellites, install more ground stations, and improve our networking software, data speed, latency, and uptime will improve dramatically, says the Starlink site. To that end, Musk tweeted in February that he expects the service to double its top speeds to 300 megabits per second by the end of 2021. Now to the important part, the pricing of this high-speed satellite internet. Starlink has begun accepting pre-orders from customers interested in joining the company's better-than-nothing beta program. The cost of the service is billed at $99 per month, plus taxes and fees, plus an initial payment of $499 for the mountable satellite dish and router that you'll need to install at home. Starlink says that it's taking orders from customers on a first-come, first-served basis, and that some pre-orders could take as long as six months to fulfill. $99 per month is a lot for an internet connection, especially one that isn't nearly as fast as a fiber connection. But Musk is betting that the cost will be worth it for people who have thus far lived without access to a reliably fast connection at all. By comparison, the HughesNet service costs as much as $150 a month, with a 50 gigabyte high-speed data plan at 25 megabits per second, and horrible latency that makes gaming impossible. And even tasks like streaming could be quite the chore. But here is the rather neat part. Elon Musk might be thinking of making his internet service free, but here's the catch, it'll be for schools most likely. This thought started back in 2020 as Elon announced that the Starlink unit will provide free internet to a Texas school district. The announcement, which came from the Ector County Independent School District, ECISD, in Odessa, Texas, will see 45 families get access to the satellite service early in 2021, while an additional 90 families will get access to the service as the network evolves. This innovative partnership represents bold and unprecedented action for our school district and our community, said ECISD Superintendent of Schools Dr. Scott Murray in a statement. Our research clearly indicates the lack of broadband access is a crisis in Ector County. In collaboration with SpaceX, we're providing space-based internet service to students and families that have few, if any, options. The district, located west of Dallas, Texas, needed broadband access to enable online learning during the COVID-19 pandemic, which has caused schools across the country to shut down or cap the number of students in physical classrooms. But quite a percentage of students couldn't participate in the online classes due to limited or no internet access. SpaceX's Starlink was promising enough to fill in the gap. It's the first time SpaceX has worked with a school district to harness Starlink. More recently, Starlink is spreading its wings around the world, and registering in India is part of that process. The company's India unit will enable the satellite internet provider to go ahead with the regulatory procedures in order to operate in the country. In India, Starlink plans to carry on the business of telecommunication services. Starlink separately said it will focus on catalyzing rural development in India through its broadband services. To keep onto the second part of their focus, once it is allowed to provide services, Starlink will, in the first place, give 100 devices for free to schools in Delhi and nearby rural districts. It will then target 12 rural districts across India. The company aims to have 200,000 Starlink devices in India by December 2022, 80% of which will be in rural districts, Starlink said in the presentation. Starlink has already received over 5,000 pre-orders for its devices in India. Currently, the company is offering its services in select areas within the country for an amount of $99 that is fully refundable. The website also shows that the company is targeting coverage by 2022, and that availability is subject to regulatory approval. So, as Starlink opens in countries, we can expect Starlink to be free for the remote schools where internet access is hard to get. So that's all for today folks, be sure to like and subscribe for more, and we'll see you in another video. Ta-ra!